here. That tantrum probably wouldn't have happened without the red dye 40. All right, I didn't stitch the original video because I don't want it to get more attention, so I stitched this one because this person had a great point. If you're brushing off your child's tantrum as, oh, that was caused by the red dye 40, um, you're not getting to the real issue of why the child had a tantrum because there is no evidence showing that any food dyes cause tantrums in children. This has been studied quite a bit, and at most there's a very weak association between food dyes and increased hyperactivity in a small percentage of children that have been diagnosed with ADHD. This should not be confused with a child having a tantrum. Those are not the same things, and again, it's a very weak association. So not only does this not actually get to the reason why the child had a tantrum, but unnecessarily restricting a child's diet can be incredibly harmful as well. While calling yourself a crunchy mom might make you feel a sense of superiority, a lot of these crunchy mom things just are not evidence-based.